and um, I was going to start again by uh, just doing a sound check. Uh, Sia and Stoker, good afternoon. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Good afternoon. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gents, uh, good afternoon wherever you are in South Africa or in the UK or Europe. Um, as I said, um, our uh, captain's press conference on the eve of the uh, second uh, test between the Springboks and the British and Irish Lions. Um, also, we have our official broadcaster on the line, uh, Matthew Pierce. And as per our custom, we will go for the first uh, one or two questions to Matthew, and we will open the floor then uh, for general questions. Um, obviously, a little bit of housekeeping in, uh, please can I ask that you switch off your mic and your camera, and that by a show of hands, uh, indicate then you, um, your question. When I do call out your name, if you can then, then just tell me to who you want to direct your question. Let's get started. Good afternoon, Matt. Uh, please kick us off. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rayon. Uh, it's, um, I'm, forgive me, it might be more than just one or two today, um, but good afternoon, Sia and uh, Mzwandile. Sia, can I start with um, attitude in the squad, the playing squad uh, this week? Um, having lost the first test, uh, there's a, been a lot of comparison drawn during the week to losing the first pool game of Rugby World Cup against New Zealand and then bringing focus to the rest of the job that lay ahead. Do you sense a, a similar attitude and sense of resolve uh, following last week and going into two more test matches against the Lions? Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been a tough week. Uh, it's felt, uh, felt long as well, but I think the way we we responded as a team, um, just the way we trained and our mindset and our focus uh, for this week, I think it's been proper. And I think being on the field and training and feeling, you know, the, the you know, it feels, it feels different than last week. So yeah, it's been really good for us as a team. And the main focus is to focus on what we can control as a team. And that's what we've been doing, you know. And, and yeah, it's been really good. So we're looking forward to it. And it's similar to what happened with uh, New Zealand, you know, uh, we lost in the first game, but now this is a bit different. This is actually, I try and be consistent. Every game is important for us, but this is different. This is 12 years and we don't get another opportunity to win with New Zealand. Every four years it happens for the World Cup. So yeah, you can, yeah, it's, we were gonna have to turn up for this one. And, and I think we've done well um, training wise, we feel confidence going to the game, you know, so yeah, looking forward to it. And, and a question on your personal uh, state, Sia, yeah, you, given the challenges you had in the build-up to the first test, uh, how how important was it for you to get a full 80 minutes in uh, during the first test? Yeah. No, that was good. I felt really good. Um, um, you know, uh, I can definitely do more. And I'm glad that we as a team got um, another game together. So, you know, we've played a big three games together now as a team. So yeah, that's really, I think that was good for us as a team to build towards that. And personally, I felt good. Um, I had no problems, um, you know, and so I'm looking forward to this coming match. Hopefully get more, far more involved than I was the last game. Mm -hmm. And a change at number eight here yeah, as part of your back row with yourself and Peter Steph to toy, how big a task lies ahead for, for Jasper Visa and how is he feeling about it? Yeah, he's he's excited. He's excited. He's shown what he can do. I think it's 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 more. It's not just a bigger task for him. I think for us as a team, because we're gonna have to make sure he gets in his groove as soon as possible. Us as a team, myself and Peter, you know, communicating with him and making sure that, yeah, uh, you know, in in whatever it is that he has to do, he know that he's not alone. That we are all with him, and we try and get the ball as as soon as we can in the game in his hands because that's what he loved doing and he's not doesn't shy away from the physical uh, side of things so i'm looking forward for to see him get his opportunity and, and i know he's well prepared so you know, we just want to make sure that he's as comfortable as he can in the game see yeah, just a reference to uh, the video that's been the talk of the town for the last 24 hours uh and particularly pertaining to you there, there's uh, it's said that that you were treated uh, differently uh, to the Lions captain. This is not a trick question. It's not a right or wrong answer. Did 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 you feel that way personally? And secondly, 
are you confident going into the second test uh, that you will be given uh, the, 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 uh, an equal voice? Um, first question, uh, yes, I didn't, feel, I didn't feel respected at all. I didn't feel um, a fair, I was given a fair opportunity. That's, that's the answer to the first question. And the second one is, yeah, I'm looking forward to a new game, it's a new referee, so I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, Ben will, will give a, a, fair, um, a fair opportunity for both captains, and, and that's all, uh, all this article. Thank you, Sia. Um, Zwandile, if I could move to you and uh, just the thoughts of, of the management team in, in the last 24 hours. I mean, it, it's been extraordinary to observe the different opinions from South Africa and uh, out of the UK. I mean, do you see the principle here as, as any different to uh, questions being asked about the neutrality of a TMO ahead of the first test? Yeah, I think without going deep on it, uh, let's go on the build up in the first game, you know, where firstly the integrity of world rugby was challenged by another human being where when Maria Sionkar was appointed the TMO, you know, and then someone got laying on the other side, went crazy where he was asking world rugby and challenging them, you know, about the decision they've made. And everyone knows that we are living in a challenging time. You know, we're living during COVID. Uh, but I did the other gentleman that was supposed to be a team well, because of the COVID protocols, he couldn't travel to South Africa, you know. Unfortunately, that's not in our hands and we don't appoint TMOs, you know. And, and the fact that that was publicly challenged by another coach on the other side. And even still today, I haven't had any statement, you know, from him, from his side where he was apologizing about it. I haven't had any statement from World Rugby, you know. So uh, I feel like, you know what, uh, we're not asking for any favors. We're not asking for any favors. We just want all the equal grounds, you know, because of once again, this took about 12 years, you know, to get to where we are at the moment. So I wouldn't love the series to all be about the decisions that were taken by the officials, you know, or the whole vibe about the coaches of the field, you know. And once again, people must make peace with the fact that we are living in the different times now. So there are traditional media conferences and there's there's a social media which is very powerful and i know there's been a lot of fight between the two coaches which is our director of rugby rasi and and Katling on the other side so but all i'm saying is that uh if whatever rasi said on the social medias or whatever i'm not on twitter so i don't know but i see videos around and all that stuff for me media conference or social media uh, there's a saying because of that, Zikala uh, Gopala, which is the beds. They all got different sounds, but they all come under the same bush. So that is my point that I'm trying to get across is that even if things are being said in the social media or they are being said in the traditional media conference, it's still the media. Mm. Old coaches wanted to get their messages across, and it was straight that Rasi wanted to state it in his own personal view. It had nothing to do with us as a team. Our main focus was to train. And actually, I'm also on, on, on Facebook. So I saw a couple of things. And but once again, for us, we're not asking for any favors. We just want a fair, equal ground for everyone. So if Rasi got into trouble because of what he said on social media, I think the gentleman that challenged the integrity of the game at the beginning when the TMO was, was challenged, I think that is something that really destroyed the dignity of the series and it also challenges the integrity of world rugby and he says a lot about the gentleman who was going to be a team at that time which is Maria Sjoker. So I think that's where it should come from. And just to follow up on that then Zwandile, I mean how, how much of a distraction has it been for you as a coaching staff in your preparations for this game or have you been able to put it to one side and and focus on what you need to fix on the field oh man listen we are professional at what we do you know like see i mentioned earlier on we actually had a great week on a training session you know we had a great week where we went to analyze our game and the things that we need to work on and, and honest truth we are in a good space and uh, yeah that's it we're looking forward to tomorrow and uh hopefully We'll give it a, a good show for everyone. 
And I think this series deserves really a good show where people must enjoy it. And yeah, we are looking forward to the game. Thank you both. Thank you, Rayon. Thank you to Matthew Pierce of uh, Supersport. We're going to move on swiftly now and uh, we say good afternoon to Craig Ray. Good afternoon. <clears throat> afternoon, guys. So, yeah, um, just uh, Ben O'Keefe, the referee, is going to be under a lot more scrutiny and pressure given what's happened this week. Um, do you expect that there's going to be a lot more uh, scope for penalties being given quite easily and are you going to be uh, very hard on your own team's discipline, given what might be coming? Um, yes, uh, I think we the, we haven't done anything differently. We're going to be prepared the same way as we, we have, and we're going to play rugby like we did um, last week, but better in the things that we can control, more than better, uh, making sure we handle, we handle the kicking uh, pressure better. So we do nothing differently. Um, I mean, we're all under pressure. I'm under pressure as the leader of this team. So it's all about who's going to handle that better. So we do, we've done nothing different to, 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 um, to help or, or focus on the penalties that are going to come because we don't know what's going to happen. But I trust uh, Ben is going to, he'll be well prepared and be fine for this game. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, the next question will come from Leeton Koopman of Rapport. Thanks, Ray. Hi guys, um, hope you guys had a good week. See, so yeah, just just in terms of you mentioned, you guys have had a good week, but but just in terms of having your families in in the hotel with you guys, um, obviously loss at the first test. Um, how 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 has it been to have them around? Um, and then also how have you distinguished um time with them and and time away from them to to preparing for the second test? Uh, yeah. That's great. Thank you for that question. <laughs> yes, it's been amazing. I won't lie. It's been amazing. I think um, with everything going on, all the pressures we feel, all the preparation, and you know the pressure you're putting yourself, what's happening in social media, in the news, everywhere. That's the one place that you zone into. You go to where your kids don't care how your day has been. Who's saying what about you? What's said? What has that happened? throughout everything. When I walk in and my kids are just smiling and happy and joyful to see me and my wife gives me a hug and they give me a gift, that's, that honestly, there's nothing can buy that. There's no better feeling in the world and um, that's really been great and we were able to spend time. They came yesterday for my family mm -hmm. and they, you know, that was our off day. It was quite nice. So I was able to spend time with them. There's a playroom that's down here swimming pool for them to swim, there's a jumping castle on the days and so everything is there for them to be entertained while we are training and then we come home and be dead and it's the best feeling in the world and it does help us, it helps me personally to be honest. Thank you Sia and our next question will come from Jamie, we have Sky Sport. Thank you very much, uh, good afternoon gentlemen. Sia, if I could just follow up um, on your comment, in what way do you feel you were disrespected? Uh, Instead, as regards to from the referee, in what way, in what way was Alan Wayne Jones granted more respect? Do you feel? Can you give us any specific examples? Uh, sorry, did, did you watch the video? <laughs> it's sorry, did you, did you watch the video that's been put out there? I have to admit, I haven't watched the full sixty-three minute video. No. Okay, I think watch that and then we can chat after the the game is done. I don't really want to get in, to be honest. Um, but I, I, we can speak about it after the game. I will speak anything about the game, but I don't want to get involved in that. I just say I just didn't feel as I didn't get given the same access to the referee, you know. And there's there's proof. If you watch the game again, you you'll definitely be able to see yourself. Um, um yeah. I, I don't want to speak too much about that because it's already happened. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not going to change anything. My focus in the is, is in the next game, and that's what we're focusing on right now. I respect that. Thank you. Can I just ask one other question in regards Razi's video? You know, rugby is a game which prides itself on respect for the referee. When a director of rugby comes out with a video like that, do you think it damages the game? Uh, can I answer that one, please? No problem. First things first, to question the appointments made by World Rugby, that is where it starts. So the video, 
for the gentleman that question, the integrity of world rugby, that where it should start. That's something that we need to question. And like I said earlier on, even if it's on a traditional media or it's on a social networks, what is right for the other side must be right for the other side. It can't be two way thing where one team is playing on a glass field and the other one is playing on the mud. So once again, I'm not too sure about the video and I'm not too sure about the gentleman complaining about the appointments. But once again, we both need the same treatment and respect. That's all. Thank you, Stick. And we're going to move on to Luis Cheza of ESPN. Uh, good afternoon for all. Uh, hi, Sia. Luis Cheza from Scrum ESPN Argentina. Uh, Sia, after losing the first test, uh, do you feel pressure and obligation to win tomorrow? And as captain, what the message uh, do you give to your, to your teammates? Um, it, um, yeah, of course, of course, we we do feel um, there is pressure, a lot of pressure actually. Um, but we 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 had to focus on what we can uh, control. And like I said earlier, we we made sure we fix the mistakes that we made um, during the game. We're fixing them during the week, and we saw where we got. Um, we got attacked and where they benefited um, the most um, in the game and uh, no things they did. So we worked hard on that. And the main focus and what was said in the week is that we actually focus on those things and that's what we did this week. And I thought we responded well and we trained well and obviously it's all hopefully going to show uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, it is a big game. There is a lot of pressure. If I told you there's no pressure at all, I'll be lying to you. Um, but yeah. I'm looking forward and that's why we do what we do and that's why we love what we do for moments like this because people have to stand up um, during the time like this. Thank you, Sia. Uh, uh, Philo Sande, do you have a question in English? Yes, Ryan, I do. Thanks. Um, Molly and my daughter. Shout out, shout out, Plastic, I wanted to find out. Um, I mean, you you're one of the guys that are in charge of the the skills and 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 some of the aerial um, uh, coaching. Yeah. That second half wasn't great in terms of the aerial battle. Um, I think everybody knows that now. Um, how how hard have you guys worked on that this week so that you you guys don't fall, um, you know, in the same trap again this uh, this second test match. Yeah, Pila, that's a good question. And uh, I think from my side personally, because of that is something that uh, I'm really passionate about when it comes to the aerial skills. I have to compliment the British and Irish Lions in that in, the, in that department on the second half where they've realized whatever they tried in the first half, it didn't work for them. So automatically they just decided, you know what, they're not going to play too much rugby and they started challenging us with those aerial, uh, aerial contests. And I have to be honest and say they did well and where we couldn't manage it and they kept on applying that pressure. So we've, we've always been working hard on our aerial skills. And I think in that first half, if you look at the first half, things were going well for our side, where we've managed to, to be clinical and the, the kicking game. And then I think the mind shift that they've done in the second half, I don't know, whatever they could say at that time, I think it, 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 it worked for them. And, and I don't doubt at all that they're going to come back in this game also with the massive, massive kicking game. So yeah, we will be prepared. And, uh, once again, the best team that will execute their plan tomorrow will probably go to stand a chance to win the game. And like you saw in the last game we played against them, it was a game of two halves where everything, talking about execution-wise, in the first half, we did everything well, managed to take uh, uh, points when we got opportunities, and they did exactly the same thing also in the, in the, in the second half. And uh, yeah, and the last thing from my side regarding that is, I have to also make sure that we our discipline is up at its best, you know. So, yeah, but we're looking forward to it, Nabra. Thank you, Stoker. And uh, Han Yiso, you're up next. Um, we'll still do questions in English and we'll probably do later in Kosa. I would like to ask Nisi Tosa, please. Late, 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 can you see? late. late. <laughs> The captain has spoken. Thank you very much. Get Koashu, a plastic man, man, bullies, and a pagoni. A man, a pagoman, Koashu. And Gemma say, Nins get a day, Tetu, a party, a warm portal. My land again, no some pen be arbor. 
bebe kuba ngode kule 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 fikpele ngo kabelo iba lege kanja nekba ni niate lekos dau atete kuzora sba ni bebe kum kanga tuwa mjalo pezu luka kulu kama bedi share kona kule fikpele plastic kuwe bintete nani amuka kashi ulo nani refuakta ala wati naba lege o kusombe mbe kuba nubulungi sa by party umjalo genge la efana efwa makalo mabin so iba lege nja nba Je ba awa bulungi sabu ya kona mchalo mfako mchalo mfako mchalo. Ya, no buti. And for 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 the nagla weekend, inje ba le 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 pula baby ya bomb so for for. Inyanza tiki ba si long season ma zinusi tena as a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a but my sister probably because of Zindo. It's very strong, man. Um, I think it's an interesting thing to go into. As 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 Take it and Uh, I think long bulls or bulls are come about the officials who are like a cool in back of the ballet and to see them down the aisle in the school and to see driver a bit minute but in back of the ballet and the ballet and the respect to see them down the I bought this I you the officials correctly even if that's it our bonnie class it is in the local level in focus as a good that he learned to make the land I owe earlier on when I can't use on city bar any team I was on that is a little again so unfortunately, as easy to I could control it. Umdu of better umdal, and a negative show by image at your port. I cheek out of his keeper still over at all who interpret and the level get tile and then cowboy like that because of his safety in the valley. Glen port way, and it's in the same as also, Grandbe, Clanda, Babuyo, Mapaya, Kusela, Abata. Who give up funding? Who can you team is cramming up by four different row? And then a team is cramming up by three. Who walks in Tanabons again? Because of Elkala, Bona was cramming up by four. There was a Bona team. Unless we hear Roses, it, they must try to roll Rabin Roses it. But in the days, no one at Tataba is safe and regular for the players. And the but which is I'm not gonna go back into it because it's there. There's one thing about the super sport. I used to work for super sport. They've got the best, best cameras, you know, as a production company. But the angle is needs is the so to stop holding the angles. So when I used to work for super sport, you will get what you want when it comes to their angles. And it's disappointing sometimes. Uh 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 officials So in the Malay you put by Player, player, safety, that's all. I am a captain in the Bullet Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to have one or two more uh, places, uh, uh, questions, and then we'll, we'll conclude for this afternoon. Uh, Brendan Nell, good afternoon. You can say Africa's latest. <laughs> <laughs> no, as a rush to be people out. Um, yeah. I don't see. OK, right. Um, we'll move swiftly on. And uh, Matthew Pierce, uh, you have another question you indicated. Uh, no, only right at the end. Thanks. Um, Ro. OK. Fatima said. Thank you.
Thanks, Ryan. Uh, good afternoon, Coach and Sia. Um, Coach Sticks, I just had a question for you. Obviously, coming from the the game last week, you had an entire week of preparation. Just in terms of your your set pieces, example, lineouts, scrums, and and all of those other things. Um, what are you expecting, especially from the boys for for tomorrow? Yeah, you know what. Uh... We, even before the first game, we knew that when it comes to set pieces, uh, Fatima, they're going to be key at, at, at this level. You know, uh, we know the northern hemisphere sides, they are very physical when it comes to that side. And uh, as you saw last week, when it comes to the scrums, it was a two half, you know, uh, different halves where in the first half, I think we had a good couple of scrums there where we got rewarded also. So credit must go to those guys who actually. Uh, started the game also, and then you saw a second half where it was a very, very balanced game regarding the scrums, you know. So I'm not an expert in a scrum, so I won't be able to tell you the, the, the dynamics of what's happening there. But I think scrums and, and lineouts, it's still going to be key when it comes to this game. And because, you know, that is a that is a platform for, for, for teams to be able to attack from. And uh, yes, uh, if you look at the driving walls, you know, they scored one try from it and then uh, where well, we didn't really get much opportunities also on the driving walls. And there's one thing about us is that we understand and respect uh, the physical side of the game. So we know that tomorrow it's going to be tough. It's going to be very physical. And uh, but yeah, the team that will execute their plan very well, they will probably stand a chance to win the game tomorrow. And yeah, we are actually looking forward to that challenge. Thank you. And we'll finish off with a question from Ashfaq Muhammad in Cape Town. Hi, Rayan. Thanks for that. Um, firstly, to see, uh, um, you know, lo last week was a bit of a... Subscribe to Shrek. Salam. 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 How are you? Good. Salam. How are you? Okay. Okay, man. Um, I, I guess uh, the, the whole country will feel a bit better after Tatiana Skunmarker's gold medal and world record. Um, and the Springbok team also left the mood by, by winning tomorrow night's test. Um, you know, uh, how important is this game uh, uh, considering uh, what happened last week? You know, just in terms of the performance and, and preparation, would you say uh, this week you, you guys feel a bit better prepared? And then secondly, to, to Mr. Stoker, um, well, Chesen Colby and, and, and Makazoli Mapimpi actually get the ball on attack this weekend. Thank you. Um, yes, actually, congratulations to Tatiana Skuman. That was really good. Mark. Skunmark. 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 Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. On behalf of the team, we want to say well done. And uh, that, was, that was special. And, and I don't think we make enough noise about those kind of things um, um especially for for women in sport i think we should um celebrate them especially us as men we should celebrate them even more um and and yeah and uh we are very proud of the country that gave me something to smile about you know throughout everything we've been going through that definitely did put a smile on our faces did encourage me you know and uh yeah we we want to be better this weekend without a doubt uh it's been uh, yeah uh, we, we we definitely worked hard we knew exactly what went wrong. We looked at our mistakes as a team and we fixed them. And I thought we trained very well uh, to, to, uh, together as a team. And we're really looking forward to this weekend. And yeah, of course, we want to win. We want to win every single game and put on this jersey. And we know what it will win um, for, yeah, for, for, for the morale of the country and how people are feeling just the same way that um, Tatiana made us feel when, when, she, when she won the two medals. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the game next weekend. We are well prepared. Yeah, and uh, once again from my side, just to add on Sia, uh, congratulations to Skun uh for making us proud, and more especially the fact that she won it in style with the world record. Uh, and Sia, actually, she does the breaststroke swimming style. Yeah, is this one? No, it's that one. Where it's it's yeah, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> part of style. So oh, congratulations okay. to her for making us proud, and uh, we are very, very proud of her and everything that she has achieved for the country. And going back to the question you've asked me about Cheslin Colby and Makazole, you know what, actually, I'm not too sure where the, the question comes from, but 
if maybe Magazole doesn't get played off the ball without holding the ball, maybe he will be able to touch the ball. So uh, maybe maybe the, 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 the ref can protect him in, in, in that in that sense. Uh, but once again, from my side, there's no there's no there's no such a thing in our game plan where they're not allowed to have a ball in hand. You know, so they've got a freedom. Uh, so once again, if opportunity comes, they will have a ball in hand. If opportunity doesn't come, where England, where British and Irish Lions, they do well to, to stop it, then it is the way it is, unfortunately. But there's nothing in our plan that says that they're not allowed to touch a ball. Thank you very much, uh, Springwell Captain and the assistant coach. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, whenever, wherever you are. Uh, I hope you will have another a good question, day, sorry. and then no we, will, we will then no uh, other questions. tomorrow there to, we will have, have tomorrow the post press conference. Thank you very much, and enjoy the day.